Oh hi it goes I Moss. You guys ready for Daddy's omelet? They're eating cereal. I'm about to make an omelet. For the first coffee and craziness. Hey Bella, are you crazy? No. Are you crazy? <laughs> See, whenever our daddy makes coffee for mommy, I also make coffee Who does this? for myself. Who keeps doing this? So I get one portal filter ready for myself <laughs> and one ready for mommy. There we go. Yes? In there What's up, got... Kira? Can I make my own omelet? You want to make your own? Well, we'll see if we have enough time, okay? Well, There's two more eggs. Get your backpacks ready. We're gonna eat um, this afternoon. Your big hands in the way. Nobody can see what's going on. Can do art? Yeah. Wait! Wow. It's a tulip. Garlic bulb. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's spilling. Mommy, it's so spilling. You ready? Need to put them all in because one it's so. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's so ready? satisfying. Yeah. Mommy? You need to keep your earrings together. You have so many pretty earrings. Uh, what is that? The butterfly. To oh, to yeah. I do, 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 do. Thank you. Tell me how it tastes. Some diamond ones. <gasps> really? Wow, that's good. I was, I was younger you than you when I got my earrings. You want earrings? Okay. Hey, get your backpacks ready. Juliana, did you get your backpack ready? Yeah, it's all ready, but it's all done here. It's all ready. Is your hair fixed? You guys have to eat the whole thing, at least two bites. And then grab, grab a close and bring it with you guys, okay? I went in the bathroom, you know how she's laying down in the bed? Uh huh. She was sleeping, and I flushed her toilet, so she hurt. And she looks up and she goes, But I couldn't see, because my, I have my no. contact My lunch break. I'm gonna try this omelet. I'm not even gonna heat it up. I'm so hungry. He's so sweet. His love language is cooking and serving. Just break this up. I don't want my fingers to get too oily. Bon appetit. The boars and cheese though. It's like super bougie cream cheese. I can only imagine that hot, but wow. Boars and cheese in an omelet. Too good. I'm back to writing down my day. These past few weeks since we got back, it's been just crazy. I'll be just literally sitting down with the kids thinking, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> and then I realized I just didn't have the direction even for just that day. Now this thing is falling apart, but every day I just do my to-dos. What a great and simple guide for my life. So you know what else I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna finally just start reading. I heard what's so great was the subtle art of not giving a fuck. The counterintuitive approach to living a good life. Now here's one called Atomic Habits. Tiny changes remarkable results. That one looks good. Good Morning. early Happy evening, late afternoon. Our second part of the day where it's chores. Mommy. Laundry. 
and the kiddos are up from their nap. Oh, wow, I like your dress, boo. What, did you Mel Mel pick that? It's beautiful, girl. Ready to go downstairs? Yeah. You gonna stay up here? I'm gonna do a huge clothing purge. I'm gonna start with the little kids' room. Because we're not gonna have any more babies, so there's gonna be no more hand-me-downs. Oh, but there are three pieces that I'm keeping forever, or until, I don't know, we have grandkids, and they're these three. Winnie the Pooh onesie, Gucci dress, and this um, Burberry dress. These are both from Mama Sharon. I'm keeping all those for future babies. Like this is already too small for Bella Boo. There's pants that come with it, so I need to find that. Wait, did I do a purge already? Maybe I did it right before the Philippines. Mario, look at Bella. Hi, Bella. You ready to get out, Boogie? Oh, she just wants to stay in there. Oh, yeah. Baby found this I'll in her my closet, closet last week, and she wore this. She's like so happy. When you were Leah's age. Oh, Leah. I thought you were talking about Leah's <laughs> This was for Mia and Kira's you want um, oh, you want second here? birthday. Bella. Those Reese's sticks. You know? What about them? Yeah. Reese's can break up sticks. What about I want them. Oh. Leah, they have none. Yeah, I have, I have some. <gasps> you do? Wow, Leah, you're pretty. Uh, have you been I buying them? Well, my shoes. Yeah, I buy them for myself because every time I have chocolate in the pantry, they just slowly disappear. Oh. And actually, not even slowly, they progressively disappear. <laughs> you should just hide them, like, away from us because we don't know. I well, don't that's know. That's why I keep what I <laughs> mine in my bag. I must have purged my because there's shoe. nothing to purge from here your shoes <laughs> so this was also gifted from mama Sharon and the kids never wore them because they were just way too fancy yeah let's see if they fit okay this would actually be quite the miracle if they did wow does it fit you boo yeah somewhat <laughs> okay other one other one these are like Louboutins, you know, like they're not the most comfortable, but they're pretty on the shelf. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Miss Cinderella. You're welcome, baby. Wow. Wow, look at her shoes. And that was a gift. For Baba? Well, it was, it was, yeah, when you were a baby, it was actually a gift for you. It was for me. Mm hmm Aren't they pretty? Mm hmm Let me watch and watch outside. Oh, not outside. It's too pretty to wear outside. Wow, she feels like a brand new woman. I'm getting rid of a lot of my jeans, like the ones that are super thin. I love the stretchy ones because they were so comfortable, but I've washed them so many times that the quality was just diminishing. These Calvin Klein jeans I've had forever. They're ready to be retired. The rips and holes. I'm over it. Okay, like these tan pants, they're gonna go. Khakis that I thought I would love to wear during the summer. Light color bottoms are not for me. Well, I don't wear this one anymore because it doesn't really fit me as well. You know, when you were, before you were born, or actually when you guys were little, I used to wear this over my tank tops. You can even just put it around your waist. Oh, no, Bella does not like that. This one I wore to Beyonce and I will likely never wear again. Look I'm ready to let that go. There you go, JB. That's cute right now. Yeah. Blouse I've had before I was even dating Benji. It has a ribbon, but I'm ready to let it go. Another one I've had forever. This is from Zara. Maybe 10 years ago. I love hummingbirds. I'm not ready to let this one go. I'm keeping it. I love this. It is small on me Please now. Leah, say okay. sorry. I love you, baby. And did you want to play with that piggy bank? I got this at a Macy's in Kauai. I may have been pregnant with the twins or the twins were only a year old. 
but I got so much great use out of this. It's just too small for me now. I've been meaning to do this purge for a while. I just never got to it because I didn't prioritize it. You know what, I'm not ready to let this go. Maybe this fall I'll wear it. This is one I'm gonna let go. When I did my color analysis and she, she also did a style analysis on me, she was saying with my body type, this kind of wide, um, wide turtleneck doesn't compliment me. It makes me look stumpier. <laughs> so this My is gonna go. These chunky sweaters that I've Whoa, had so for a long, long Please time. Show. I mean, I got good use out of them. I did that, this You know, I'm gonna keep this one though. Like this a towel one. neck is I okay and it's lightweight. Oh, that one? You like that one? Please. Or should I get rid of it? Get rid of it? You don't I, like it? I it? You like it? Okay, we're gonna keep this one. I couldn't let go of this one. I think I came home in this or one of my doctor's appointments when the twins were just born. And this top, I loved so much. I think I'm also just waiting for it to go back in style, the peasant tops, because they do. It recycles every 10 years or so. So it should be coming up soon. I'm keeping this because I just have such fond memories. Oh, I love this one too. I can't let go of my, um, I have this in blue as well. We should keep that. I should keep it, you're right. From three people, clothes. like I liked it so much I got them in both colors. What color do you have the least of? I bet I can name it. Yellow. What color? Oh yeah, I don't have a lot of yellow. Oh, Your camera's about to die. Okay. See what I'm saying about the peasant tops? This one, same thing, I can't let it go. When do you think long cardigans are coming back? The one with the fringe, I don't think I'm willing to wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wore this when I announced Mia and Kira's pregnancy. Pregnancy, <gasps> I meant my pregnancy with the twins. I'm ready to let this go. It's just been over 10 years. Look what I got, honey, for the Whoa. pork. It's a way better deal. It's only 13 bucks for all this pork. And there's a bone in it, too. Okay, so it's like old clothes that uh -huh. were literally, honey, over 12 years old. Oh, wow. Like, you, know, you know what I, th I was thinking, hon? I don't think I even did it before, but <laughs> the clothes were bulging out of the closet. Oh my gosh, it just feels so much better and it's nice to just let go. Let go of things that you've just been holding on for years. Years. I mean, some of those pieces before Juliana was born. Also crazy to me that I can give to the girls one day. Like there's quite a few dresses in there. I didn't even really go through my dresses, but there's dresses that 
um, I don't wear anymore. They don't fit me, but I have a feeling sometime within the next 10 years, the girls can start wearing them. For that reason, I'm not letting them go, but it's not because I'm trying to hoard. You know what I mean? All right. Oh my gosh, the kids are still awake. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.